I can jump here and they probably have no words. I can do this on Ezreal. I can throw this, cast ult, instant kill. Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to do a mid Syndra guide in which we will talk about summoner spells, runes, builds. We're going to talk about what to max, we're against the Yasuo on mid lane and we'd want not to hit our entire combo into an exhaust win wall Yasuo because that wouldn't make sense, right? So I'm playing with Ignite, but you can play with Exhaust, you can play with Teleport, most people play with Teleport. I like to be more aggressive, so I went for the Ignite Electrocute build. Most people don't play with Electrocute. Uh, I believe Teleport is useful if you are aware on how to properly use it. If not, you can go Barrier for a beginner, or Exhaust, or Ignite. Stuff that can actually help you, because Teleport may be difficult to use unless you want just to go to the lane. I'm playing with Electrocute, Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Timer Toning, Minion the Materializer, these rune stats. You can also play with Arcane Comet, you can also play with Face Rush. Generally, you'd want to pick the rune that helps you most in the context. I prefer Burst, I prefer the more uh, bursty approach, as uh, I will be able to auto-attack this guy sometimes when he doesn't have his E or when I stun him up. Now, for items, for items I would like to start with uh, Ring, I am starting with Ring, uh, you can also start with Corrupting Potion, and you can go for, you are, you should go actually for Lost Chapter as first item, and let's not miss that minion right there, let's get that as well, and after Lost Chapter you can get Boots, you can get uh, either GLP or Ludens, we'll see which one I'll go, probably GLP because I'm against the Asuo and he's annoying, but he has his Wind Wall. So it makes my stuff predictable. Oops. Now that I missed that, he has a free a free time of going on me. But we don't actually mind that much because we can just trade back. And we win the trade because he has We win the trade because he has less potions in general than me. He can heal up, but it won't be that that difficult to actually fight him and beat him because whenever he comes towards me I can just E away okay let me get that minion okay for spells for spells and max order you generally want you generally want to max Q then E your Q is this sphere, sphere that you see your passive enhances okay am I going to die here not use the flash but didn't kill anyone he used exhaust also I'm playing with minion the materializer and ah well doesn't matter he flashed I got the advantage in that he got the first blood though that's good for him I didn't lose that much considering the context I'm gonna get a potion and he has nothing by the way he has no exhaust, no flash, so I'm just fine. The wave is in also in my in my side because the minion waves push towards this tower, so I'm having advantage on this besides besides the simple fact that he got first blood, which is a lot a little more gold. And yeah, so we were talking about abilities. The passive enhanced is at max rank your stuff, your other abilities. So whenever you have max rank on one ability, your passive will start working in and you're going to deal some more damage or have some more other effects. Uh, Q, as I said, throws this sphere, which is quite spammable, much like Arthas. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get this. I do like to spam abilities, but it isn't really recommended. Okay, he's annoying. But I'm <laughs> winning this. Okay. Let's just... Okay. I'll wait you. Come, buddy. Come. Okay, I missed that. <laughs> so, whenever I have my tome, I will start my amplify. No, my lost chapter, I will start to be actually extremely more useful. I dodge that. Nice. Dodge that as well. Gonna do auto attacks. Gonna proc more. I'm gonna ping him to common mid. Because I'm keeping him low HP. Also, I'm using minion the material is 111. So one on every single type of minion. Okay. Gonna break the shield. 
and here should be a free kill okay and you can actually get in there because you have more movement speed ah never mind at least to the rescue and here I can actually just use this on the cannon it's fine it's not problem that he escaped I should have played better probably I'm gonna ping for him to help me push okay and hopefully they get into tower they want because the minion waves here is not it's not a good push okay it's good push if you, if we get the cannon it's a good push right so I still don't have enough gold for this but let's continue talking about abilities your W throws a sphere, generally useful for picking up scuttles, picking up, picking up blue buffs, picking up stuff. Uh, practically you'd want to use this to secure cannons if you feel like you're missing often. You can easily slow people with it, so you can cast W and then you have a free E. And E it's your stun, you can cast it to stun people, you should cast it on multiple spheres in team fights to stun multiple people, that would be the best usage. And then you'd want to probably you'd want to probably cast your ult which deals lots of damage based on your spheres and and these spheres are based on what are you doing buddy what are you doing buddy what are you doing buddy you're going to back off now now i i want the trade because he does have any heals he has to recall right at this point I, I need to keep my mana just if I keep my mana I will just win by stunning him up at the right moment right I have flash faster than him as well okay I got the shield down and now next time we fight I'll just I'll just destroy him because he can't come close unless he does a very very good wall okay so he casted the wall and now he has no safety net so if he wants to do anything he'll have to come close I don't care that I use my ignite there okay what I do care about is this guy because I am getting a free kill on this guy if Wukong comes now let me just get these Auto attack that to break the shield. Come on, buddy. It's a free kill. I have my ult up in 29 seconds. I also got exhausted last time I ulted. So I'm gonna nicely auto attack this. Missed that Q there. It's okay. I'm winning in CS, by the way, which is mostly what we want. But I got, I got grilled down here in mana, so I'll just. I'll just auto attack these. Top lane is winning us again. It's fine. I have my ult up again. And all I have to do is dodge this. He's. He's. <laughs> no! Well, that's unlucky. I mean, I didn't auto attack him at all there, so he got executed and I died to their jungler. It's fine. It's fine, really. I am actually gaining advantage on him. Even though he stacks magic resist, uh, I am actually having 9 CS advantage. It's okay. We're going great. We're going to get probably GLP because we want to slow him up because he's annoying, but we're doing fine. And we're going to get to scale from here because we're going to get a lot of... Uh, this guy FK is going to get a lot more damage than usual on him. And I'm gonna ping him again, because he's actually a free kill if Wukong comes. I'm gonna ping that he's missing. Even if you want to get farm, you can do this combo that I just did here. Basically, you get that minion. He's actually taking that. So I'm gonna try to steal it. Thank you. That's mine. I am not afraid of him though. Yep, 
The only thing that I'm remotely afraid of is the Elise. Because she's annoying, mainly. Okay. He just worded that, most probably. But still, if you look at the farm... He got a Hex Drinker, by the way. For some reason. I'm going here right now, because I'd want to... Okay, we got that. We're gonna ignite this guy. He has nowhere to go. We got double kill, it's cool. We're gonna get now plates. And we're gonna get also this minion because it's mine. You can steal minions, you can steal cannons from your teammates if they want to be mean. So we just turn it around, we're starting to do fine. We got GLP going on. And we can start talking about uh, max order combos. Basically, you'd want to max E second because it's your main bread and butter CC tool. And that actually helps. I don't want to miss this. Nice. That actually helps a lot in the long term because having a lower cooldown on your stun is actually what you require to deal lots and lots of uh, stuns in a teamfight. Basically, you'd want. Your main, your simple combo, if you play electrocute, is auto attack Q, auto attack to proc electrocute. If you don't want to play with electrocute, you can just go for a simpler thing, like just Q from a distance, and then you have the combat proc. You can also go for phase rush, and you need to proc uh, three attacks or spells together to proc it. I'm gonna ping that this guy is missing. So be careful. Okay, I'm also having vision word. I, I will get more vision words and I got GLP because it's generally cheaper and you can hit your combo easier and you have also the safety net of the slow. So I'm just gonna do a Q here, gonna get that. I have blue buff now from Elise. I'm having the time of my life. I missed that minion. I'm gonna go and put the vision word there to have some insights of where Elise is. And I know I know that I talked I haven't talked much about combos yet. So basically I'm gonna exemplify here. If you do this, whoops, not this. <laughs> I wanted to cast Q first. If you do the QE combo, you can do an instant stun. Uh, do I need to help? I got him there. I didn't got him there. Uh, okay. Okay. Let me just let me just deal with this guy. Okay. I trolled my own CS there. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna move towards bot here because I have cleared this vision. I know they are taking Herald, or I'm guessing so, but we can't really fight 2 versus 3. I'm seeing Ezreal here. I can jump here, and they probably have no words. I can do this on Ezreal. I can throw this, cast ult, instant kill. He was AFKing there, it's fine, okay, and here we come for the full experience on the Drake. I'm going here to actually stun the Elise when she comes, to instantly one-shot, okay, I'm seeing her there. And we're just gonna ult her. We didn't get the kill, but we... Oh, okay. Turn! Turn around, cast ult, buddy! Okay. We got the smite there, it's cold. Okay. Stunned that. Didn't get the Yasuo. If I would have got the Yasuo there, we would have killed him. Back off, back off. Ah, he took my cannon. Should have stole it. Should have stole it. Back off, back off, back off. Zasuo can now easily engage. He has um, 300 uh, gold here on the bounty because of this trade, because of this bad fight that we have just done. But it's fine, it's fine. We're not going for Morello because it just delays my Rabadon's power spike. And we're going for that to one shot easily people for Rabadon's. We don't really need Morello's in this context because the, on the only one that heals are those two, and it's not that bad. Okay. Auto attack him. Nah. He 
failed that one very very hard but this guy pings a lot I need to mute him because he's annoying uh, I'm dumb I am very dumb here okay so okay miss that I am having issues with my stance but generally I am doing fine look at the damage by the way look at how much burst I can output from a single Q on that Zyra and I can easily one shot her by the way I can easily one shot her like here okay coming to help them as well okay so we got that as well so we did the one shot on Zyra very very simple kill get the not gonna get the cannon again but here i can actually go bot because there is a huge wave whenever you done where you're done with the lane phase you can move towards the side lane if you are ahead especially and this is a mistake that i see people doing a lot they don't move to side lane to get the extra farm they just stick on mid lane as three or four people without doing anything i'm not talking about fights they aren't doing anything at all i am missing so many cannons this is this is my mantra by the way cannon missing this actually i'm gonna steal it because he has a blue buff and i don't care i need the mana more than him and when you do that just be careful because the enemy might the jungler might hate you oh it's, it's okay it's 40 seconds till the next uh till the next drake we can move here towards the mid lane we can stun this guy up slow ignite alt and get him it's fine We got the Zyra instantly. I can flash out, by the way. Okay, Wukong shouldn't have died there. But because we nullified the Yasuo there, I need to go back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Timo died there. You are on your own there. I need to go back. Gonna get this. Uh, I don't know if I have time to stop. Yeah, I don't have. I'm gonna get this guy, gonna ignite. We lost inhibitor. Because Timo got destroyed. But we are quite okay. Now we're not okay because they kept fighting on mid. I can't keep up with this team. Because if Xayah gets fed and then gives a 20 gold, 20k gold a bounty to the enemy, that's not okay either. So, because Timo died here, as you can see, it's the top lane is good. Their top lane is decent there. And I need to get I need to get there to that Drake. They are here, certainly here. Okay, so we got this. We got the Drake. We got another kill on this guy. I am doing great. All I need to do here... I hate that. Stun. I got that stun on Elise. She's full tank, but we're doing fine. And Sion is not here. I also don't have mana. So that is that. Okay, we got her. It's fine. I need to recall because I don't have mana. I don't have mana. Back off. Back off. Wait me. I don't have mana. They will start it, right? They, they will certainly, certainly start it. If you don't get blue buff and you spam spells like that, can you not die? He's not dead. Oh, this... Oh my god, have you seen that? Okay, Sion inted. Okay, we got this, we got this. I'm gonna hold this. Oh, I didn't damage this at all. Yeah, we got him. So get the Drake now. I think I did my whole ult into into the Yasuo, so that's that. But we can just we can just damage this as fast as we can. I'm gonna position myself here to actually stun Elise when she's coming, because she's probably coming the fastest way. 
See? See the Elise stun that I've just done there? It's exactly what you should do, guys, as any champion that has a CC spell when there is a risk of your jungler not being around. And now we can move... We can actually take this. Okay. We can actually move here. I don't have blue buff, so that you can notice that uh, discrepancy, that's requirements to actually to actually get stuff. I'm getting here an elixir of sorcery because I will probably finish the game after this fight. So I want to have the maximum stats that I can get before the last fight. So we're gonna get this. We're gonna get this Baron, and all I gotta do is stun Cyan instantly, kill him, or stun Yasuo instantly, kill him. And now I understand, I quite understand why Elise went uh, full tank, it's mainly because uh, their top laner didn't. And so we can, we can... Go there, go there, go there, go, 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 go. This Yasuo might come here. Alright, so go here. Go, go, go. Cyan might take our base, it's cool. It's cool. If we get Baron this, we won the game. And they can't really do anything about it. Because of the speed that we get this. Okay, and now we recall, we go there. It's fine, losing inhibitors is fine, as long as you don't lose more than one. And if I had that stun there, it would have got more. Now we should just go mid, we should just go mid, we can, we can end it. Even if, even if science split pushes now, it doesn't matter, okay? Because he doesn't have time to actually end the game. And also look on top as well. He can he can do that. It's not it's not turning into a base race because the minion is there. And this guy should actually come with us. Go, 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 go. I shouldn't have vaulted there, but it's fine. He should be able to kill him, right? What? I don't think we we'll lose this game, right? He got him, but but the cyan! Oh my god! I think we won the game here because cyan didn't actually manage to kill the base, and yeah, we can we can just stand now. Is that we still have this cannon, and Israel will actually hit us a lot but we are we are doing great here i'm gonna get that as well because he's gonna come let me just uh the fact that okay that was a good plan but xaya died <laughs> now it's a longer game <laughs> xaya shouldn't have died there I don't understand how she died so simply. She's 17 kills and died to 110 as real. She just have to dodge stuff. And now, uh, Zion, Zion, ah, stop him! Go! Go! These guys are incredible. We are actually losing this game. These two guys, oh my god. Stun him! Ult him! <laughs> no. So yeah, that is the game, guys. That was depressive. I, they, I have no words. They could have done so much more. But still, I really hope you enjoyed this Syndra guide, and see you next time, guys. Goodbye.